everyone, Cindy A. Lewis here. In tonight's video, I'm going to show you how I made this frame from a Dollar Tree wooden frame and turned it into a beautiful Mother's Day multimedia uh, project. It's just beautiful decor for Mother's Day. Put your picture in here. It's easy to do. This is the one that came with the Dollar Tree, so it's the display uh, frame. But anyway, just a dollar for the frame and you add all your little pieces and I'm going to show you how I created this. So hold on. So to make our beautiful multimedia Mother's Day frame, this is a frame from the Dollar Tree. You saw me haul it in one of my hauls and preparing it for all the beautiful pieces that you're going to put on it. So take it out. Now, whatever color you want to paint it, uh, you'll want to remove this piece. So take that off right there and set that aside. It does come with a little stand that you can pop in here so that it can stand up, which is really simple and easy. So we're gonna set that aside also. I'm only gonna paint the front and the sides, not uh, the back, right? So I'm just gonna use some of this chalk white Waverly uh, chalk paint that I had. Uh, it's just something that I had on hand. You can certainly paint uh, with whatever you like. And I'm just gonna take my brush and go over this uh, frame really quickly and just cover it real well and then let it dry. So what you want to gather are your papers, whatever your focal points are gonna be to accent like this frame here. Your little pieces like this. I've got some a little frame over here I might put. Um, I've got some papers. These papers are from the Vintage Diary uh, collection from the Sarah Signature. Sarah Davies, it's beautiful papers. Um, they are just gorgeous. But I also have the six by six size and that's gonna be big enough so I'm not gonna cut my large 12 by 12 papers. I also have some charms that I've set aside, some accent pieces to go on there. I have some wooden hearts. I think I'm gonna put a couple of hearts. I have some lace. You can see this is a mixed media because you're not just using one type of media. I will be using to accent my frame some pink tulip opaque pigment ink pad and I'm just going to get my blending tool and I'm going to use it to put some of this around the edges. Right here's my uh, blending tool and this is just a very very light pink. So I wanna put a little around the edges of my frame. So I don't want it to be a heavy color. And you could use paints if you wanted to, but you see how it just gives a, a faint color to the piece. I don't want a heavy color. I did get another color out, but I think this is gonna be plenty around the edges. It's really, really pretty. If you wanted to use your paints, I would get a very light color and possibly even dilute it a little bit, unless you want a, a stronger pigment. Now this, this is what I'm looking for, for this frame. And I'm gonna put a little bit around the heart as well because it will accent the picture that goes in the frame. And I know who it's for, um, a woman that's like a mom to me, but I haven't picked out the picture yet. So you'll see that I'm just gonna put the picture that came with the display back in it. All right, so that is the first step. The next thing that I wanna do is I wanna put some papers down here. I have some beautiful papers in this collection. 
and I just have to pick a couple of them. One I want is some uh, writing on it, and there are many, many beautiful papers here, as you can see. And I'm trying to decide exactly what, oh, I really like that one. That might be it. And then I need some with some writing on it, like this one. All right, so I'm gonna take this one out and this one. Now you could accent with any colors you like. This is the one I'm choosing. So this one, I just want this piece here and I'm gonna just tear it because I just want part of it. So I'm just gonna tear this piece and I just want a little bit of it. So I'm gonna save that other piece for later. So I'm gonna take this little bit off here and this paper tearing is really fun to do. Um, and you can decide how you want your paper to look and how much you tear off. Um, so I'm gonna I'm going to put this down with some of this colal glue. So I'm just gonna put some on the back here. If I can get it to come out of the. All right, and I may have a little much on there, so I'm gonna. Make sure I get it all around. And I'm just going to put that down there. Now, one thing that you could do with the gesso, if you wanted to, we're not gonna do it on this one, but you could go over all the edges with your gesso. I think we'll do another one with the gesso. Now, here I have another piece, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I tore pe my piece of paper, you can see hand torn. I'm just gonna put a little of this pink around the edges. I wanna pull that pink in to my paper. The same pink that I'm using here, this pink tulip. Set that aside. All right, now I'm gonna put this down on top here. And just use this same glue. And rub it in a little bit. I'm gonna make sure it gets all to the edges. And we're gonna put that here. All right, now I wanna be able to see this. And that glue gives me the ability to kinda of move it around. Now see how pretty that's already starting to look. So another thing that I wanna put on here, and not only that, but I do wanna put some of this paper I want to add that as strips on here. So I'm gonna cut some strips and um, we'll glue those down along with a piece of lace. So I'd like for you, if you're doing this same, same design, is to get you a piece of lace ready so you can see where you want it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little piece of lace and I'm going to glue that down here. Uh, let's see, I'm just gonna put it on the frame since the lace is thin. And spread that out. Oop, sticking to my fingers. <laughs> Multimedia is the funnest thing to do and you probably have done it before and didn't even realize that you had. All right, now I've cut some pieces of that same paper and I'm going to put it down here. And I'm just gonna glue it down. And let's see, I want the lace to show. There, and then I'm gonna take this piece This one down. All right, right here. But I'm not going to glue it right on top of it, even though it was right next to it. You can see the continued design there. Okay. Then I'm going to take this piece that was on that same sheet of paper, and I'm going to put it across like this. All right, 
And that needs to set just a little bit. So while that does, I'm gonna put that aside for the moment. I'm gonna take one of my hearts here, um, probably two. I'm gonna take two of these hearts. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're stickers, but I'm gonna glue them down. So there's one and this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and take three of the same size. Now you could use whatever you want. And I'm gonna see what it would look like with my, my pink on here. And it might not be dark enough, so we'll see. Um, I don't know, I kind of like it. I may take some of that other plum that I have and add to it just to give it some effect. I like um, the like muted tone of it. So I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna grab this muted, uh, this plum. Let me show you. This ink pad is called Plum Jam. And that's a lot darker. So I'm just gonna start simple with it, really light. And Just kind of give it, it doesn't have to be exactly the same on all of them. Just the idea that the same colors are there. Just get some, some of the shading. All right, so those look good. And who knew you could do that with an ink pad, right? All right, so I'm gonna set that aside. And we're gonna do my accent here and this frame All right so I'm gonna take the tulip the pink tulip and just go around these edges now this frame is from the vintage diary collection also um, this is the packaging you get eight pieces so you get these beautiful corners this is wood. You do want to be careful with it because it's, I don't know, I want to say fragile, but I don't want to break it. Okay, so I've got some of this light pink on here. Now I'm going to take this plum and just kind of go around the edges a little bit just to give it that same color. So you can see how that kind of changes the color of it. Yeah, there we go, that's good. All right, so just a little bit of color for the frames. I'm gonna set those aside for this, for this moment. So I'm gonna take this piece, it was off of this main piece, give it a little of that pink color, that pink tulip, just a, just a tad. I'm going to glue that on this other side with this coil glue right here because it just brings the whole um, frame together as one piece. All right. Now, now what I want to do is I want to decide what other tools I want in there. So I really like this, this frame but it needs something in the back. So I'm gonna take one of my papers with some script on it, and I'm gonna put that behind it. Let's see. Okay, so for the back of the backing of this frame, I'm gonna put this in here. So I'm gonna cut this out to fit just inside of all these curls for the corners. I want it to fit inside here, but I don't want it to be um, sticking out anywhere. So I'm gonna cut this, and then we're gonna add some beautiful pearls to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this underneath my frame, and I'm gonna put a little of this pink under here, this pink tulip, just to bring those colors together. Just something like that. All right, so that's gonna bring in that same pink color. 
and I am going to put it square, not, not this way, although that would have been pretty. All right, so I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to glue that down, and then I'm going to take some of these pearls and some little bit of glitter, and I'm going to fill in this um, bottom part of the frame right here uh, just to add a little glitz to it. So I'm gonna do that and I, I mean, it's just really gluing. So I think that you can um, understand how to glue some pearls and glitter in, but I'll show you uh, when I have finished. Setting this aside to dry a little bit. You could use hot glue if you wanted for a lot of this, but I didn't want to, I didn't like to. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my little corner piece here. I'll put it right here. And I'm gonna dot off some of this glue. And it will dry clear. It's really pretty. All right. Then I'm going to see where do I want this frame to be. Do I want it up here, here? And I think I like it just pretty much centered. And then I've got these other hearts that I'm going to add. And I might, I might put one up there. We'll see. Sometimes you have to kind of play with things. So I've got some more pieces to add. Um, to the frame, got this butterfly and some little butterflies, just playing with it to see what I like. I do have these pieces here, just thinking about, but I don't know that they actually go with it. I was just pulled some pieces out. So I've, I do have a few pieces, I can see where I want them, and I also have some flowers. I have these flowers too, um, not sure, I do like these, these dusty rose color flowers, so I may put those on. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put this on with this 3D glue um, to hold it in place, so I'm just going to put some on the back here and put that on my frame. It does cure in 24 hours, but it'll hold pretty well until then. Okay, now I was trying to decide about the hearts and I'm about to say only one heart. So I just have to decide instead of three. I think I might just put one up here in the top. So I'm just gonna use that same 3D glue and put that up here like this. And isn't multimedia fun? And then we have these flowers here. So I think I may go with these three. I may come back to the white ones, I'm not sure. These are really beautiful. I like that. Maybe two here and one here on this side. So I'm just going to use this same. I'm going to pull that foam off there. I don't need that. I'm going to use this 3D glue here. You will love this 3D glue if you ever get to try it. Okay, I'm going to leave that one on. I just want to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And this is permanent. Okay, that looks so pretty, guys. Oh, so pretty. All right, I do want to put at least one of the butterflies, and I'm not sure. Kind of like that one. This one's, I, I, well, I like that one. I think I, I think I'll go with this one. Now, this does have some uh, foam glue on it, um, foam, 3D foam on the back but I want to use something that I know will stay. So I'm gonna put that here. 
and wipe that away. And that. All right. That is beautiful. I think that's good. I don't think I need to add one more thing to it. I think that looks lovely. I don't think, I don't think so. <laughs> I keep wanting to add more. You can always add more. But that is just beautiful. And so all you would do is slide your picture in the back here. And give your beautiful gift to someone else. And there you have it. Multimedia frame for Mother's Day. You could also add mom on the side. You could put your name. You could do all kinds of fun things with it. But um, this is just one example. I do want to make a couple more, but I wanted to give you some ideas before, um, you know, so you had time to go out and buy whatever it is that you want to make your frame with a multimedia frame. So this is really beautiful, and we'll do another one, but I did want to show you this one. So thanks for watching.